hello friends welcome to programming knowledge so in this video we will learn about a new component it's called section list section list is just like a flat list but uh, here we can display the list with sec which, which have sections so basically in a simple list all the members of that list falls under the same category but it is not the case with the section list let me just show you an example. Uh, if I write, let's say, pizza, burger, so here you can call this a list. We can display this list as a flat list, but. If we have this type of list, let's say main items and under the main items we have pizza and drinks. So here I have created a section list because there are basically six members in this list but three of them falls under main items and three of them falls under drinks. So this is the basic difference between a section list and a normal list. So in this video we will learn how you can create a section list. You, if uh, you are fine using the flat list, you can use the flat list in all the scenarios. But in that, you have to create multiple flat list for multiple sections. So let us start with the section list. First of all, we need to create some data, which we will be show in our section list. Each section consists of a title and the corresponding data. So we will be creating an object, title, main items and the corresponding data is pizza. And let's say burger. Let's create another section. Let me call it sites. French fries onion rings etc. Now drinks. Coca-Cola, let's say Sprite, water, etc. Desserts. ice cream and 
let's say cake so we have created data which has basically four sections main items sites drinks and desserts and we have corresponding data now let us create a function which will be responsible displaying the uh, displaying the corresponding list this pizza burger french fries onion rings coca cola sprite whatever the corresponding list uh, that is displayed via these functions let me call it item we'll be passing each let's say title here view let me know some styling we will create a style for item text and title this is not a usual function you cannot uh, uh, call it by just typing the name and providing these small brackets we will see in where we write the code for the section list style store let's say we will create a title okay so now it's time to create section list First of all, we need to import this section list here. We also need to import text and section list. It's the same closing element. Let's provide the data and you also need to run it on the iOS simulator. If you are using Windows machine, you can also use Android simulator. Okay. So basically, we first we will provide the sections. In this case, our section is data that we have created over here. Then we provide key extractor just like we provided in the flat list. This time it will be an item index and it will be combined of item and index. It will it will be a unique uh, ID for all the element all the sections basically now render item each item we will call a item And here we will use item title basically the item that we will encounter on each iteration we are using this 
over here. Now render sections header. Now we are talking about these headers, main item, sites, strings and add deserts. section title will be displaying in a text which will be ultimately the title render section header means drinks desert sites and main items we'll call it a section and pass the title and it with each iteration we saw the title under the text let us provide some style property as well let me name it header okay so the main code is done now let's come to this styling part first of all the individual item let's say background color yellow padding let's say of 20 we also need to provide margin top and bottom so we provide margin vertical in instead let us say 10 so that uh, there will be gap from top and bottom uh, between each item now for the header header let's say font size will be let's say 30 okay we need only header font size and title title means each individual list and that font size will be let's say 25 let me just save the styling now just let me save the app.js if it works okay it works fine as you can see main items sites drinks and desserts you can also scroll down pizza burger french fries these are the individual items. These is responsible for each section handles. Main item, sites, drinks, deserts. And this over here render item is responsible for all the corresponding data. We can also include more, let's say. Let's say rules pi. Let me just save it as you can see. So, this is basically how you can create a section list. If you are using much more simpler uh, version of uh, flat list, so you can also use flat list. But whenever you have a section, it is much better way to use it because you don't need to create multiple flat lists for that. So thanks for watching.